vision. So this is going to be topic four, tunnel vision. Um, are you guys able to see my screen, by the way? Yeah, it looks like you are. Yep. All right, so tunnel vision. Uh, one thing to consider is nameplates. Okay, so uh, generally with nameplates, you don't want to lose um, where your TVI is. And I'll show you an example of one of the VODs during the track, or round one of the Stanton Cup. So this is the very beginning of <laughs> this heat. And you can already see there's an explosion going on right there, right off the bat. So that's very unfortunate for them. Definitely want to avoid that. Um, but you can see all these nameplates in front of you. And it can be easy to lose where your TVI is um, for this. So for this, it's sure really just having situational awareness of where your TVI is when there is t tomato, or tomato nameplate soup in front of you. Um, so that's one thing uh, that you want to keep in mind. Uh, you don't want to focus too much on your the opponent in front of you and forget your racing line. Definitely want to prioritize your own survivability while also having good situ situational awareness around you. So you want to find that balance. <coughs> so I want to show you an onboard of round one. And this is an example of someone who was too focused on their opponent in front of them, and they ended up crashing because of it. So this is the XGR club track, uh, one of the best tracks, if not the best track, um, amongst all the racers. Looking. You could see right there, uh, th this individual took a peek. <laughs> Uh, at the person in front of them. So generally want to avoid doing that. Um, he already knows that this person is here. So looking to the left like that, you really don't have any reason to do that. Um, even if it's just a quick look, uh, you, you can do that. It's, it's your judgment call, but generally, um, like I said, it's a balance between knowing where the racer is next to you but you also want to prioritize not crashing. Um, so we're going into private parking here. Right now, uh, <laughs> this person is taking private parking very, very tight, knowing that the racer is to their left, uh, but uh, you're losing track of the racer right now, so that's a little risky. <coughs> going through upper crisscross here and you can see tried to cut him crashes. Off. So I'm going to replay that again. And I'm going to pause and I want to show you guys something here. So right here, uh, this racer is focusing on another racer in front of them. Uh, tunnel visioning typically happens when there's only uh, one or two racers in front of you. It definitely happens more often when there's only one racer uh, in front of you. Um, and just focusing on that person, uh, you can see a little later, the TVI is very offset. Uh, in this case, you want to go through radio tower, which is in between these two antennas. So with how close this individual is to a radio tower, by this point, you definitely want to have the TVI in between the two antennas. Um, and you'll soon see that uh, it ends up, uh, he ends up realizing it way too late and ends up crashing uh, into radio tower. So you can see here, this is the moment he realizes he's about to crash. So he's trying to pitch up, but by this point, it's way too late and you crash. So this is a great example of tunnel visioning way too much and just not focusing on your own racing line and your own survivability. Uh, so this is a great example of what not to do. <coughs> so that uh, covers tunnel vision. Um, focus on your own survivability uh, while also having good situation awareness uh, around you.